isang matagumpay na pagpapalang muli sa inyo. Sa aking mga kamathinik, handa na ba kayo? Kunin na ang inyong mga gagamitin sa ating aralin. Muli, ako ang inyong Maestro Olaso. Sama-sama tayong matuto! Again, I would like to introduce to you my partner, Mateo. Hello, Mateo. How are you? Hello, Maestro. Hi, kids. I'm Mateo, your math buddy. Just simply live and love mathematics. Yes, you are right, Mateo. The only way to learn mathematics is to live and love mathematics. So, are you ready, Mateo? What about you kids? All right, let's do Mathanom! I am thinking of a number. Thrice my number minus 8 equals 88. What is my number? A. 26 B. 28 C. 30 D. 32 Mateo and kids, you have 10 seconds to answer. Time is up! Let's check your answer. Mateo, what is your answer? My answer is D, 32. You are correct, Mateo. Can you explain how did you arrive with your answer? I used the working backwards strategy. I started at the end by undoing the result, so the operation will inverse as well. 88 plus 8 equals 96, divided by 3 equals 32. So, my answer is D, 32. Yes, that's correct. Mateo showed us the example of solving problem using working backwards strategy. To solve a problem by working backwards, we basically start at the end of the problem and work through to the beginning. Thank you, Mateo. You're so good. And to all of you, who got the same answer? You are amazing! This time, we are going to discuss about solving multi-step routine and non-routine problems involving division of decimals. Brace yourselves! Let's do Mathalakai! Mateo, can you tell them the four main steps in solving problem? In solving problem, just remember this. Star. S. Study the word problem carefully. T. Think of a plan. A. Act on the plan. And R. Review and check your answer. Exactly, Mateo. Let us apply now the four main steps in solving problems. Mateo, can you read our first problem? Monk says R brought two bags of garlic to market. One bag weighed 8 kilograms and the other bag weighed 6.5 kilograms. He repacked the garlic in plastic bags of 0 0.25 kilogram per pack and sold each pack for 43 pesos and 75 cents. How much will he get if all the packs were sold? Thank you, Mateo. By following the star, we can solve this problem. The first step in solving problem is study the problem. What are the given facts or numbers? Two bags of garlic, one bag weighed 8 kilograms and other bag weighed 6.5 kilograms. 0.25 kilograms per pack, 
each pack for 43 pesos and 75 cents. What is asked in the problem? The amount that Mang Cesar will get if all the packs of garlic were sold. The second step in solving problem is, think of a plan. In thinking of a plan, you need to think of your own strategy to solve the problem. Let's create a mathematical sentence to solve the problem. First, to get the total weights of two bags brought, we will use addition. So we have 8 plus 6.5. Next, Mung Sessor repacked the garlic in the plastic bags of 0.25 kilograms per pack. So we have 8 plus 6.5 divided by 0.25. Then Mang Cesar sold each pack for 43 pesos and 75 cents. So we now have 8 plus 6.5 then divided by 0.25 times 43 and 75 cents equals N. The third step in solving word problem is Act on the plan. Let's solve now the problem. Here is the solution. The group of 8 plus 6.5 divided by 0.25 times 43 and 75 cents equals N. Find the sum of 8 plus 6.5. 8.0 plus 6.5 equals 14.5 Number 2 Divide 14.5 by 0.25 Number 3 Multiply 58 by 43 pesos and 75 cents So the answer is 2,537 pesos and 50 cents Finally, the last step in solving problem is Review and check your answer To check our answer we can go back to our calculation. So Mang Cesar will get 2,537 pesos and 50 cents if all the packs of garlic were sold. I hope that everything is well. Let's try another problem. Matheo and all of you kamathinik, join with me and say, Mathray nga! Here is the problem. Samuel caught three big fishes weighing 20 and 5 tenths kilograms, 15 and 25 hundredths kilograms, and 18 and 75 hundredths kilograms. He kept 13 and 25 hundredths kilograms for his family and delivered the rest equally in five markets. How many kilograms was delivered to each market? Matteo, can you show us how are you going to solve the problem? Yes, Maestro. As what you taught us that in solving problem, we need to follow S-T-A-R. S. Study the word problem. What are the given facts in the problem? Three big fish weighing 20.5 kilograms. 15.25 kilograms and 18.75 kilograms kept 13.25 kilograms five markets what is asked the number of kilograms was delivered to each market the second step in solving problem is t think of a plan the problem needs three operations first to get the total weight of three big fishes we will use addition 20.5 plus 15.25 plus 18.75 Next, after that, Samuel kept 13.25 kilograms which means we will use subtraction 20.5 plus 15.25 plus 18.75 minus 13.25 then, Sam will deliver the rest equally in 5 markets. 
20.5 plus, 15.25 plus, 18.75 minus, 13.25 divided by 5 equals N. The third step in solving word problem is A. Act on the plan. 20.5 plus, 15.25 plus, 18.75 minus, 13.25 divided by 5 equals N. Here's the solution. Number 1. Add 20.5 plus 15.25 plus 18.75. Number 2. Subtract 13.25 from 54.50. Number 3. Divide 41.25 by 5. Finally, the last step in solving problem is R. Review and check your answer. The other way to check is to look back your solutions or do working backwards by solving at the end and inversing all the operations. Now, the answer to the problem is that Samuel delivered 8.25 kilograms each of the five markets. You got it, Mateo! You definitely follow the steps in solving word problems. What about you, Kamatini? If you got the same answer, I'll give you all an excellent clap! I hope that you really understand the steps in solving problems and keep it in your mind and always Mathandaan! Again, Mateo, can you tell us what are the four main steps in solving problems? Yes, maestro. Just follow the star. S. Study the word problem carefully. T. Think of a plan. A. Act on the plan. And R. Review and check your answer. And now for our final activity. Brace yourselves. It's Mathematics time! Read and analyze the problem carefully. Then, choose the letter of the best answer in the following questions. Lei has a necklace, a ring, a bracelet, and an earrings. Each weighs 8 and 3 tenths grams, 6 and 5 tenths grams, 10 and 3 tenths grams and 5 and 5 tenths grams respectively. If she sold this to an amount of 15,300 pesos, how much does each gram cost? Let's see which of you succeeded today. Let's check now your answers. Number 1. The correct answer is letter D. The cost of each gram of the jewelry. Number 2. The correct answer is letter C. 5. 
Number three, the correct answer is letter A, addition and division. Number four, the correct answer is letter B, 15,300 pesos divided by the quantity of 8 and 3 tenths plus 6 and 5 tenths plus 10 and 3 tenths plus 5 and 5 tenths equals N. And number 5, the correct answer is letter B, 500 pesos. Alright, how many of you got a score of 4 or 5? Great! You outdid yourself today! Natapos na naman ang ating aralin. Naway kayo'y may natutuhan sa ating mga tinalakay. Muli, ako ang inyong Maestro Olaso na nagsasabing ugaliing manood at makinig upang maging matinik sa mathematics.